Welcome to the Trooper Transmission. My name is CT3939, but you can call me Paul. And in today's video, I'm gonna break down Anakin at Skywalker's character arc and look at it through the lens of mental health. And I was inspired to do this based on a conversation I was having with a client. And it was just a dude, we were talking about what he was going through in the lens of fitness, nutrition, and just working on being a better person. And he was like, no man, it's so nice to have this conversation with a dude. I feel like dudes don't have this conversation a lot. And he's right. And it's not to say women don't have this conversation as well or women don't struggle, but I wanted to make a video basically detailing out how we see Anakin and maybe his cries for talking to someone and the different signs that we see throughout the movies and say, oh man, like here are some lessons we can learn from Anakin or here's some lessons we can learn from the different clone troopers and how they interacted. We'll dive into Fives and his super sad ending and his character arc and kind of some parallels that I think we can, we can pull in there. Let's just dive into some of the signs that Anakin was showing. So ultimately Anakin showed six big signs of struggling with some form of mental health. Number one was a hopeless outlook. And I think the thing that's really interesting here is you can look at the people that he loses in his life, specifically the women that he loses in his life. He loses Smee, he loses his mother in Attack of the Clones, and you see how that impacts him. That's really his first initial fall to the dark side. Then he loses Ahsoka in the Clone Wars, and you see how that friendship that he loses and his trust in the Jedi really starts to deteriorate how he's feeling. And then he starts to lose Padme. And as he loses Padme and finally does lose Padme, that's what turns him over. And it's really this hopeless feeling of I've lost everyone around me or I've lost everything that was important to me. And that's what contributes to him having those mental health things that obviously leads to him becoming Darth Vader. Number two, super simple, but sleep problems. Episode three is littered with him not being able to sleep, having nightmares, especially of Padme dying. Number three, he's got a ton of anxiety. One, around Padme dying, and he's anxious about that. He's anticipating that not good thing happening, but then he's also got a ton of anxiousness about becoming a Jedi Master, and that's causing a little bit of delta between where he's at and where he wants to be, get that anxiety. Number four, irritability. We all know the quote in the scene where he says, it's not fair. How can you be on the Jedi Council and not be a master? Right? And so you can really start to see, especially in episode three, but even different episodes of the Clone Wars where Anakin really starts to be irritable and his emotions are all over the place. Which brings me to number five, uncontrollable emotions. He's super happy, he's super sad, and we can see the journey that Yoda talks about when he talks about fear leading to anger, anger leading to hate, hate leading to suffering. So when we look at those different progressions and those different emotions that come with it, we can see every single step of the way how Anakin does that. And a little bit later in the video, I'll talk through how that can show up from a fitness, nutrition, especially a weight loss standpoint or whatever journey that you're on and how those are going to ultimately lead to you feeling worse and worse from a mental side of things. Finally, we got self-harm, which is a super serious topic. And if that's something you're thinking about, definitely go and get professional help, but even just self-harm in the form of sabotaging. There's a really interesting quote where Anakin says, I want more, but I know I shouldn't. So he knows that what he's doing isn't the best for him, but he still continues down that path. And it's ultimately him hating himself that creates the scenario where he gives himself over to the dark side. He just hates so much of what Anakin has become. And then you have that really emotional scene in Rebels season two when he's fighting Ahsoka and he says, Anakin was weak. I destroyed him. He's literally saying, I killed the person or the version of myself that I hated. So just to reiterate, this isn't to diagnose Anakin with any specific mental health disorder or to diagnose you. Big thing is if you do feel like you want help, go get professional help. But I just wanted to pull out some parallels because we can see how Anakin was struggling. Maybe you see how you're struggling and then you can say, oh, well, if Anakin would have just talk to Obi-Wan a little bit more, or if the Jedi would have been more welcoming and someone that he could trust, well, maybe wouldn't have gotten to that place. And I think a lot of attention gets put on the Jedi as being these emotionless people, but I think the Jedi, especially towards the end of the Clone Wars, were just out of balance of who they actually were trying to be and what their ethos was. Jedi do practice emotions, but they don't want the emotions to inhibit their ability to do the things that are important and really look at them objectively. 
Jedi were trained to empathize and be compassionate about what people are going through without disrupting their own internal balance. I think the Jedi were just so out of balance that they weren't able to do that, especially not for Anakin. And so Anakin had no place to displace his emotions and be able to work through some of the things that was going on. Which brings me to my favorite metaphor that I use for mental health, which is poking holes in a potato. So picture a potato. Anytime you're gonna bake a potato, you wanna poke holes in it with a fork before you put it in the oven. Why? Because if you don't, that potato is going to blow up. So when we look at emotions, and not releasing them or not talking to someone or not just getting that negative energy out. It just gets stuffed, stuffed, stuffed until at some point it erupts, it explodes, turns into self-sabotage. And that's not what you want. So you got to poke holes in your metaphorical potato, which is here. There's a couple more examples of this that I want to dive into, especially within one of my favorite episodes in the Clone Wars is season six, episode four orders with fives and he's found the plot. He knows that Order 66 is a thing, but he's been drugged. And the whole time he's trying to convince Anakin, convince uh, Rex what's going on. But in order to do so, he needs to feel safe, right? And so he puts them in that ray shield, and when he feels safe, then he starts to tell them what's going on. And in that scene, you might think, oh, he's, he's just not stable, he's going a little crazy, he's been drugged but that's really similar to what people experience when they do want to share something. They want to feel safe. They want to feel like they're being listened to. In that scene, you can kind of see that Anakin's like, whatever's going on, Fives, we can work through it. Rex is like, dude, what's going on, man? I want to know, I want to know what's going on. But the key to that is knowing that Fives really just wanted to have some form of safety. Obviously you didn't. You get one of the saddest moments in all of Star Wars. So we look at Anakin and tie it back to the example of the conversation I was having with a client. I always just wanna bring it back to this quote from Yoda, the real famous one where it's fear leads to anger, anger leads to hate, hate leads to suffering. When we look at fear, fear is synonymous with anxiety. It is a perceived threat of something that is coming, a consequence that is coming. When we look at anger, anger is acting out emotionally, irrationally, and it can a lot of times stem from a lack of control and being frustrated that you can't control everything. Then when we look at hate, it's often associated with the frustration of not getting results or being really frustrated with the lack of results. And a lot of times that's turned inward because you're frustrated with yourself. And then when we look at suffering, suffering is gonna be the delta between our expectation and where we're at currently. And even if we've done a lot of progress, we've made a lot of progress, if that delta is so big, that's gonna cause a lot of suffering. The attachment to an expectation is what leads to all suffering. When we look at the case of Anakin, it's what led him to becoming Darth Vader, is ultimately that hate of himself. So then when we look at this from a fitness standpoint, we'll use weight loss as an example. There is the fear of gaining weight or not losing the weight that you wanna lose. Then there is the anger, the anger and the frustration of not being able to lose it, of plateauing, of not seeing fast enough progress and not being able to control the progress and the results that you want, then that's gonna lead to hate. Hate might be hating yourself. Hate might be being more frustrated with the fact that you are not going as fast as you think that you should and so you end up being more mad at yourself than anyone else, which ultimately leads to suffering. Again, suffering is really the attachment to the expectation and the delta between that expectation and what actually is. And it's what happens when you get detached from the present and the process, and you get focused on the destination, the goal, being on the council, being a master, having all of this power versus being present in terms of just being a Jedi Knight or just losing you know, a pound a week or being okay with the process, being slower, being whatever your journey is, because ultimately fear, anger, hate, suffering, it's gonna follow a same trajectory anytime you're not happy with where you're at and where you wanna be. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Be sure and share it with a Star Wars fan or a friend that you think will get value out of this. And if you want more content and you wanna be a part of the Republic Army, join the free Facebook group or the Discord in the links below. Be sure and subscribe to the channel if you want more Star Wars content, reviews, news, theories, speculation, fitness, mindset, and everything in between. Be sure and ding the notification bell so that you get notified every single time I release a new video. This is CT3939. I'll catch you next time on the Trooper Transmission.